Oh, she oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, sorry. I'm a little late on getting another video out, so I had a, a thought I'd like to share with you, which comes from the book of Psalms on Psalm 90. And we'll start on uh, verse 4 to verse 9. For a thousand years in thy sight are but as yesterday when it is past, and as a watch in the night. Thou carriest them away as with a flood. They are as asleep. In the morning they are like grass which groweth up. In the morning it flourisheth and groweth up. In the evening it is cut down and withereth. For we are consumed by thine anger, and by thy wrath are we troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our secret sins in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are passed away in thy wrath. We spend our years as a tale that is told. I would like to talk to you about genres okay genres you know those of us who like to read we like to read uh, anything from history to biographies uh, fiction non-fiction uh, you know like fantasy adventure I mean you the list goes on and on and if you look at each person, at each one of us, start looking at ourselves and how we look at others and stuff, we think about how that person lives their lives and then compare that to a genre. Does that person live their life in fantasy? Do they live it in sci-fi? Uh, is it action-adventure? Uh... Is it biography, history, you know, you name it. But we seem to live more of our lives instead of as non-fiction, we live it as fiction. We live our lives, seems like, like it or not, most of us spending our time living our lives in fantasy or sci-fi, whichever. You can pick up books and they can be, uh, you know, be well written, real good, you know, they grip your, it grips your soul. You know, they can make you laugh, make you cry, make you a little angry, make you sad. You know, they can touch memories of things long ago that you, you know, remember or things, you know, it can really touch your heart. But I think the greatest book in the world happens to be the Bible, and it's non-fiction. And we as Christians, we are supposed to base our lives on that and live our lives as non-fiction. But our lives that is like a tale that is told, that is written on paper that it, it can speak well of us or bad of us, you know, uh, depending on our lives. See, even when bad things happen, people tend to want to retreat and live their lives in a fantasy world of their own making. And they think they can escape the world, but they can't escape their problems. You know, there's uh, bumper stickers and uh, plates that you can put on your car that says Jesus Christ is the answer. Well, what is the question? Well, where can you find true peace of mind? 
Jesus Christ. Where is it do you go when trouble comes? Who can who is it that can truly comfort your heart? Especially when there is no one else around. Jesus Christ. You know, we tend to rely on many other things. We tend to put our faith in people instead of Jesus. We need to start learning to put our faith in Him. And in doing so, also mimicking, copying uh, all the things that He did and taught. And one of the things he wanted us to do was to love one another and to take care of one another and, and encourage one another. So I spend more time, especially on YouTube, tearing others down instead of building up. Spend more time discouraging instead of encouraging. Ten more times uh, to live your life, you know, as if your, your, your life was a book about boxing or some kind of violence. Action and adventure think the only way a solution to it is to head on and meet it, you know, and, and attack. And you attack one another, trying to get even. This is something for you to think about. How is your life told? By the way that you live your life, what kind of tale is it? Think about it. And, you know, we can choose, as an author, can choose, uh, like, what genre he's going to write. We can sit there and choose the type of genre, so to speak of the way our lives is going to be told. And there's only one author who can do that. Let ourselves be a tool like the pen and paper, but let the hand that guides the pen be Jesus. Let God be the author. And we need to spend more time encouraging one another and building each other up. Now listen, it doesn't matter if one uh, believes that uh, one day like the, the Sabbath is the day, or uh, a Sunday is the day, or Wednesday, or Monday, or Tuesday. You know, you make much ado of nothing when all things is created for Him. As long, you know, it is... Unto Him we live and die. You need to read the book of Romans and read it carefully. And you've got a lot of people out there who will try to push your buttons. What I call the monstrous trollsters. Watch out for them. They come from fantasy land. And they will like to tear you down and rip you up and eat you up and spit you out, you know? And it is easy for a person, if you're not careful, to get caught up into that. Let me encourage you, one another, bro uh, the brothers and sisters, if, if you have this problem, send a private message or a private video to another brother or sister in Christ that you trust and you know very well and share this problem, whoever it is. And, and try to encourage one another and get strength, you know, and, and don't fall into the trap of uh, trying to answer back to these people who's just trying to trap you, cause more troubles for you. And there's a lot of you out there who have, and I know you have, and you know you have, Another time, I, I got a little tricked into it and then realized, oh man, you know, I was like, hello. But see, the thing is, but once you realize it, and, and then you're more aware when you, like a soldier who might have been on a mission and failed, 
well then the thing is you don't stop fighting you just learn to, to be a little bit more careful you learn from your mistakes so that's something to think about it so what genre are you so think about about how your life is and what you're going to do about it God is the author he is in control so until then my friends I hope everything is going well with you and um, I hope that you enjoy the warm weather and always keep a pe eye peeled out for the bad weather but always trust in the Lord too so God bless you Shalom and ha-ho.